welcome back to the Home Library Collection. This video is a review of the Folio Society edition of Dune by Frank Herbert. The feature is an introduction by Michael Derder, an afterword by Brian Herbert, and illustrations by Sam Weber. The mesmerising slipcase is printed with metallic silver ink in long flowing lines to portray the harsh and desolate landscape of Dune's surface. There are protrusions at the top and bottom of the opening, which make it seem both sturdier and more ornate than other slipcases from the Folio Society. The cover design by Sam Weber is solemn and considered, printed onto the silver buckram with details such as the characteristic blue eyes of the Fremen blocked to vivid effect. It's a truly stunning colour with a haunting beauty. The spine also features a combination of printed and block text. The end papers are printed with a map of Arrakis, designed by Martin Sanders. While they're beautifully designed in their own right, to my eye the style of the map is not fully cohesive with that of the other illustrations. Regardless, they are clear and a useful reference while reading, especially printed on the end papers rather than amongst other informative pages at the beginning. There are 12 stunning illustrations from Weber throughout the text, which were originally produced in oil paint before being printed. For the most part, the paintings are character driven and definitely capture the nature of the people in the images. Weber himself describes the illustrations as being essentially a collection of portraits. His muted colour palette helps to evoke the endless dusty deserts of Arrakis which allows the reader to read the images as part of the text, rather than be taken out of it, as well as blending nicely with the slight yellow tones of the Abbey Wove paper. This is not the first time Weber has illustrated a Folio Society production, having worked previously on The Lord of the Flies and Fahrenheit 451, and more recently on The Book of the New Sun, and it is clear from these illustrations why he has been asked to collaborate so many times. There are also a number of smaller black and white illustrations that serve as chapter headings, and each chapter is preceded by a quote from works that exist in the Dune universe. The text is set in Dante, and both Helvetica Nue and Black Tulip are used for display. This is one of the most popular productions that the Folio Society has ever produced. It was first released in 2015, and is now in its sixth printing. But this should come as no real surprise. Dune has amassed a huge following since its release in 1965. The world that Frank Herbert created is vast and comprehensive, and brought a completely original take to the science fiction genre. With a story that flows through such a multifaceted universe, Herbert could naturally explore a number of themes, and he doesn't shy away from concepts such as politics and religion. The detail of his world allows Dune to be a novel that can be read an endless number of times, but the tension, action and human elements of the story keep it gripping from the first reading.